Welcome back everyone. Um, this is the medium version of the top six project. Okay, so in this version, um, I give you some of the HTML and I'm going to help you get the other HTML. Okay, so and if you want to know the difference between the medium and the caliente, in the caliente you're starting absolutely from scratch and you're coding with me to get the grid system. So in this version, I give you the grid system already and I'm going to explain it to you. Um, but we have to go to Bootstrap to get the card. So if I open this up in a new window, you're going to see the top six favorite artists here um, and nothing else. But behind the scenes, there's a lot of things going on. Okay, I'm using a website called Bootstrap and I'm borrowing the code from Bootstrap. All right, it's an open source. Um, it's an open source. Um, let's see, organization that creates software, JavaScript, HTML, and CSS for people to use. Um, a lot of people use it on their websites to make them look professional. And it has this really nice grid system that allows pictures to sit next to each other. Um, and it's already like coded out. I don't have to put a lot of stuff in my CSS. In fact, there's really nothing in my CSS here. So um, the way that you start it is, and I've already done this for you, is you put a link to the Bootstrap website into the head of your HTML. Okay, and I put that under the link to my CSS here. Now that allows me to get things like the navigation bar. All right, and I all I did was I went to Bootstrap, I searched nav bar, and then I copied and pasted it here. Okay, and it has some information in it. It tells me that um, these are all the different classes. A class is a way that it is styled. There's three separate classes, the nav bar brand, the MB0, and the H1. Um, but what you need to know is you just need to know how to modify this. If you modify the stuff in between the tags, that is going to get you these words right here. Okay. Um, so whatever you want to do here, you're going to do top favorite. You don't have to, I put favorite artists like visual artists. You could do top favorite musical artists. You could do top six um, Netflix shows. You could do top six sneakers, top, top six like you know, activist websites or ways to be involved in activism, you are going to decide. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to operate the other parts of the HTML, right? So the first thing that you want to do, um, let me just show you what is in the HTML here. So first of all, we have a div of main, all right? This is a division. Now it's a box that almost everything from the below the nav bar, downward is in the division of main. Okay. Now right inside of that division, we have a division of container. So if you see the div starts here and it ends here. Okay. The div class of container, which is a bootstrap um, item is uh, starts there and ends right above where the ID, the div ID of main ends. Okay. This right here is going to allow us to add a color. And I'll show you how to do that in, in a little bit. Um, it also gives us, or what I've given you already, is I've given you um, rows and columns. So here we have a row that starts here, ends here. Inside that row we have a column here. We have a column here and a column here. So essentially it looks like three cells, three different rectangles across one row. Okay, And you have two rows, each with three different rectangles. Okay, now I will show you uh, what that looks like in just a minute um, so that you can see how we put things inside of it. Okay, so here we are back here. I wanted to show you what an example of this website is going to look like. So here I have put top six favorite artists and I've put um, a lot of visual artists that I think are very interesting. Okay, so I've done them out here. You'll notice that I have three, um, three items in each row. Remember the rows are horizontal and then the columns are vertical. So each of these items represents a column inside of a row. So you have two rows, one, two, right? One, two, and then you have three columns in each row, right? So that is what yours looks like here is you have a row here. It starts here, it ends there. On 38 and you have one two three columns and we're gonna put stuff inside the columns okay so in the next video I'm gonna show you how to put items inside of the columns